All right, guys, so it is 2023. You guys know I got a ton of Clippers last year. To save you guys some trouble, I'm gonna give you a quick rundown on each of the Clippers that I got. Kind of talk about what I like and dislike about them. So if you guys are looking for Clippers, you'll have a little bit of an idea. Of course, I have reviews on most of these. If you guys wanna watch a detailed review, make sure to go look them up in the channel and check those out. All right, guys, I'm gonna go in no particular order. I'm just gonna grab them out of the drawer the same way they were set up in the thumbnail. We're gonna talk about each one of them, but stay tuned to the end. I'm gonna tell you guys some of my top Clippers that I've been using from this past year. All right, guys, so first and foremost, we have the JRL. I believe it's called the 2020C. So you guys can see it has a little bit different shape. It does have some like bevels on the front here. Honestly, when I first saw this clipper, I did not love it because of the shape. I also didn't love the idea that they stole this shape pretty much from bevel clippers. Now, honestly, guys, this is the Barber Fields JRL. I have used it. Not a bad clipper. It actually fades pretty well, but I really can't get over the shape of the body. To me, it's like a hand grenade almost, but definitely not a bad clipper. I believe it is at kind of a median price. So not too expensive, not super cheap, and it does fade pretty well. Next up guys, we have the TPOB Goblin. So you guys can see right through the clear lid on top, this is the vector motor. Basically guys, when I turn it on, if the clipper senses drag, it will turn up the RPMs. That's what the vector motor is. So guys, this is the Goblin. You can see the lime green on the front power button here. It does come with the XO blade, which is just like the Fusion blade from Gamma, which you guys know that I love. It does not come with a stretch bracket. So if you guys are like me and you like the stretch bracket, then you're gonna wanna check out one of the other clippers we're gonna see in a minute. Next up guys, we're gonna include these. At the same time, I'm gonna go ahead and answer your questions. A lot of people ask me, why do you not use your Rebel anymore? Do you like the Boosted better? Guys, these are pretty much the exact same clipper. Now the Stylecraft version comes with a couple different lids, pink, Pink, blue, I can't remember all the colors. Pink, blue, and black, I believe. So the boosted is black, red, and gold, I think. Now guys, I like this one better. To me, it just looks a little bit better, but these can be set up the exact same way, and they are basically the same clipper. So you guys can see on the boosted, it has kind of a matte cover here. It is all blacked out. Has a couple different things, like these two light holes. It does have the fusion blade and the stretch bracket. And guys, it is your standard clipper shape. Next up guys, we have a new one that I just got. This is the Stylecraft Instinct Clipper. Same idea as the TPLB guys, the vector motor. Same idea guys, if this was clear, you could see through it. The other lids actually have the clear front so you can see the vector motor. This does have a floating lever because I took the clicks out. It does have the fusion blade from Gamma and Stylecraft and guys, it does have the stretch bracket as well. So if you guys can see, it actually opens up quite a bit further than the last notch on the clicks. Now guys, we'll go ahead and clear it up. These are pretty much exactly the same as the TPOB Goblins. Only main difference is the color and the fact that that does not come with the stretch bracket, but the blade is the same, the motor is the same, the body is the same. It's just gonna come down to preference and how you guys like your clipper set up. Now next up guys, Old Faithful, the Gamma X Ergo. You can also get the Ergo, they're very similar. Now this is not my Ergo guys, you can see it has a fade blade on it. I believe it comes with a fade blade. I like to put the Fusion Blade on mine. I actually let one of my guys use mine, so I don't have one anymore. But guys, this is the Ergo, and if you've seen me talk about it before, I really don't like that it's shaped like a banana. So still a solid clipper, similar setup to the rest of the Gamma stuff. You can put the Stretch Bracket, the Fusion Blade, it is super powerful, definitely cuts no problem. But the shape on this one is what makes me put it a couple notches below some of the other Gamma Clippers. All right, next up, we're gonna talk about the Sabre and the Apex. Now guys, you would have thought that I would have liked the Apex better because it has the same motor as the Rebel, but after using both, I actually liked the Sabre better. And funny enough, the Sabre came with a fade blade. So you guys know when you switch clippers, blades, motors, stretch brackets, all that stuff, it really changes the clippers. And for some reason, I just like the Sabre better. So you guys can see it here. This is the gold Stylecraft Sabre. It does have the fade blade on the back. It kind of has a big bulky lever here, a little bit different. Clicks, of course, like I said, guys, you can put the stretch bracket on, take the clicks off. We can throw a fusion blade on it if we want. But guys, the Sabre is an absolute beast and I really enjoyed cutting with it. Now the Apex is exactly the same body. You guys can see the same lever, big, heavy metal body. If you guys like heavy clippers, you will love these. Now I'm not sure if it came with the fusion blade on it, but of course I put one on here so you guys can do that like we talked about. You can put the stretch bracket on as well. And this has the same motor as the Rebel and the Boosted. So I really thought that I would like this better, but you just never know. All right guys, we're gonna switch over to the Old Faithful Wall Senior. Now when you guys hear me talk about the traditional clipper shape, this is what I'm talking about. So you guys can see this is the Wall Five Star Senior. No stretch bracket, none of that craziness here. We do have a taper blade on it here, you guys can see most of my clippers back in the day, I used the taper blade. Now I kinda like that fusion blade. But your standard clipper guys, Old Faithful, super consistent Wall Senior. Now if you guys haven't tuned in lately, I did just pick up the Wall Gold Magic Clip last week and I have a full unboxing and review on it. So basically the same thing guys, same clipper shape as the Senior. This is a little bit more lightweight. So you can see this back body here is plastic instead of metal. You can see it's all gold. The lever is slightly different and it does come with the fade blade. 
So guys, I was actually super impressed with the Magic Clip. Was not a fan of the old Magic Clips, how much they bog down and lose power. And being a senior guy, I just think that the senior's better. I do still believe that. I would probably use a senior before I would use a Magic Clip. But if you guys are Magic Clip fans, this is definitely an improvement. Not only does it look better than the old Maroon, but it is more powerful and better battery life and all that, I believe. At least that's what Wall says. Now guys, we're gonna go to the next Wall Clipper. This is the Wall Metal Magic Clip. Now I'll tell you, Honestly, I have no reason why they even made this. So you guys can see the metal body all around, metal on the sides, metal on the front. To me, it kind of looks old school. Not really a fan of it. Does come with the fade blade, just like the Magic Clip. But guys, if I want a heavier clipper, I'm definitely going with the Senior and not a metal Magic Clip. All right, we're gonna switch gears again. We're gonna go over to Babyliss. Now this is the Frank the Barber Babyliss Influencer Edition. So I forgot to say FX, guys. This is the FX Clipper. You see the boost on the side. This is the Frank the Barber version. There is a green one, which is the Patty Cut version and a black and red which is the Los Cut It. But guys, this is basically your traditional FX clipper. I don't have any of the originals anymore. Of course, those are super old, but this is kind of the new and improved with the boost motor. It does have the rubber grips, which I love. This is actually still one of my favorite clippers. Now this one did come with a fade blade. Which brings me to my next, guys. This is my custom FX. So you guys can see very similar to the boost FX that we just saw. Same clipper, does have the rubber grips, but what makes it better, guys, is not only could I customize the colors, but we got a taper blade on here. So you guys know I like the taper blade better than the fade blade, not a fan of the fade blade. You guys can see the custom colors here. So if you like the idea of the boost, I did buy a custom FX. I put the 245 battery and motor upgrade in here and this thing's a beast. Next up in the FX family, guys, these are the Babyliss Snap FX. So super cool, guys. The top of this comes off so you can clean underneath. It looks like it hasn't been cleaned in a minute. And the batteries pop out of the bottom. You can put them in the dock to charge, bring a new battery in clip it in and it's ready to go. Now one negative guys, no rubber grip. It is back to the metal, gnarled metal here. It is still kind of a grip, but I definitely like the rubber grips better. Now if you guys cut 20, 30 heads a day and you need consistent battery, you don't have time to charge, then the Snap FX is gonna be for you. You can just pop the battery out, put the new battery in and keep moving. Now for me, I have the 245 power mount on my station. I would much rather use the custom FX. I think it looks cooler. It has the rubber grip. I can throw this power clip on there, throw it on my station and keep it charged all day. I don't cut that many heads so it has plenty of time to charge in between. But guys, all three of these FX clippers that I just showed you are pretty much the same besides the small little differences that we talked about. All right guys, next up is the Low Pro FX. So you guys can see the Low Pro right here. This is the rose gold. Obviously you guys can see the rose gold. I did get the gold ones in as well, but I gifted them to my cousin who just started barber school. So he was super grateful for that. The rose golds come with the chameleon blade. This is a fade blade. It has a click lever. Power switch is down here on the side. Honestly guys, when I first got these, I absolutely love the shape. Much closer to our traditional clipper body that I talk about. A nice weight. I absolutely love these things when I grabbed them, but I don't love how they cut as as much as my other FX's. So I don't use the Low Pros a whole lot. They are powerful, they're nice. Like I said, if you like this shape better, you're definitely gonna like these. And a lot of people love these clippers. I just personally like how the other FX's cut a little bit better. Now the last one in the drawer, guys, is the Lithium FX from Babyliss. So you guys can see it here, black and gold. Power switch on the side, we have the click lever. Super quiet, you guys can barely hear it. And it comes with the wedge blade, so different than a taper blade or a fade blade. And kind of back to what I said about the low pros, not a huge fan of the wedge blade. So guys, it does come off, we can put a taper blade on it or a fade blade or any of the other blades that we talked about in this video, but I've just been using it as is. Now guys, this is one of the most affordable clippers that you guys have seen in my drawer. So I don't know the price exactly, but this is definitely more on the beginner level on a lower price point, maybe around 160, something like that. You guys know you just can't really get clippers anymore for 80 bucks or 100 bucks. So 150 is kind of standard standard or up, and this is pretty close to that. Now guys, that is all the clippers that I have at the moment. I'm gonna tell you guys my top three that I like to use. So if you guys haven't guessed it, the Boosted is absolutely still my number one. The Rebel is solid as well, guys. Everybody asks, like, do you not like the Rebel anymore? All you use is the Boosted. And like I said, guys, the Boosted I got about six months after the Rebel. So only downfall, guys, the Rebel gets super loud. I don't notice it as bad on the Boosted, but the Rebel was about six months older. I got the Boosted. I do kind of like how it looks better, but it cuts the same. But that's the reason I've been using the Boosted, guys. But this is my absolute favorite. Like I said, we have some new and improved features that the Senior maybe doesn't have, but we also have that traditional clipper shape. This thing is powerful, cuts through bulk, fades super well. You guys know I love the stretch bracket and the Fusion Blade. So this is my number one. My number two, guys, is the Babyliss Custom FX. Now, specifically, this Custom FX, guys, I love the rubber grip. I have always been a fan of the Custom FX or just the FX Clipper. Now, this has the 245 performance motor and battery upgrade in here. I can change the color of the charging light. It upgraded the power. 
has a taper blade. I just love these clippers, guys. Now, I really only use them for clearing bulk and feeding into the hair on top, and these just do an amazing job at that. So, I'll probably get some flack for that. A lot of people hate, hate, hate these clippers, but this is my number two clipper, guys. If you ask me if I had to use one, I guess I would say the boosted, but if I can have two, it's gonna be the boosted and these. Now, third place, that's kind of tough. I did a video earlier in the year and I actually had an Ergo as third place, but I'm looking in the drawer right now and I think if I had to go to number three, I'm gonna pull out the Wall Senior, guys. So the Wall Senior is just Old Faithful. I'm actually gonna do a video soon. This is not mine, I borrowed it for this video, but I have used Senior since I started cutting hair since they made the cordless. I probably had it within the first month that it came out. So guys, I think I'm gonna do a video. Leave me a comment down below and let me know if I should, but I'm gonna go pick one up and we're gonna see if it still holds up compared to today's Clippers. Now I'm gonna go ahead and guess that it does and that's why I have it at my number three spot. Most of these guys have a discount code with Babelist for BabelistPro.com and the custom FX app. The code is Sean Gutierre, and that's my code everywhere. You guys can shop on Gamma Plus NA or StyleCraftUS.com and use my code Sean Gutierre there and save 10% on Gamma or StyleCraft. And guys, Fort Worth Barber Supply carries everything else if you need. And right now they're running a deal with my code Sean Gutierre to save 10% on their website. All right, guys, that is it for the video. Leave me a comment down below and let me know if you guys agree with what I said, if you guys like some of these better than maybe what I said. If you guys have any questions, Drop it down below and I'll be glad to answer it. If you guys like the video, do me a favor, smash that thumbs up. Make sure you guys are subscribed. I'm gonna drop a trimmer video next week. As always guys, I appreciate you watching my content and I'll catch you guys next time.